Alright, so here we are, rolling into SDCCU Stadium. <coughs> uh, this is where race legal happens. And um, just pull it in here, go around the uh, inside parking lot. And ahead of you is actually where the racing is happening, but you can't see it right here, I don't think, in, on the camera. <coughs> get our uh, slips, or no, I'm sorry, not slips, our wristbands, and pay our $30 entrance fee. As we go into the parking lot, we're going to go to tech inspection next, and yes, nobody is here, um, I mean very few cars, so that is always a good sign. Sometimes, or later tonight, this thing will be entirely full, <coughs> so that's good. All right, so here's a little copy of the form that they give you. You know, it's basic information, name, address, um, expiration, emergency contact, what class you're in, and pretty much signing your life away. And here's what they check on the back. Most of these don't apply um, to my car because it's lightly modified. Um, but fill this out and then they'll do my tech inspection. Back here, just went through tech. Um, you can see some of the cars behind me there still going through. Um, wanted to make a little video, kind of just showing this is my car. Um, this is the way I set it up for drag racing. Um, you know, there are a lot of naysayers and people saying that I gut the interior, um, I'm, I'm running drag slicks, I don't have the mods that I say I do, um, or I'm, I'm running much, you know, a lot more mods that I say I'm doing which I'm not, um, and I'll prove it right here in this video. Um, here's some of the cars going in the background, but uh, here's my car, and uh, let me switch this camera around so you can see it. All right, so here is my car at the drag strip, ready to race. Um, see it back there still. Here it is. Let me just do a quick walk around. This is how I run it. Every time I'm here, so the setups. There's nothing that I'm doing. I'm not trying to be uh, sneaky or anything. Here are my rear tires. They are the Firestones in 275-3019s. Uh, the Firehawks. There is their number right there. So there's my tires. Same in the front. These are in the 245, 3519 size. Um, let me open the hood for you. And actually, I'll open the trunk too, just so I can show you. There's my engine bay. Stock. No intake. Um, can't really see the headers because it's so jam packed in there. But um, let's see. The only weight reduction that I do is. Is taking out my spare tire and tools. That's it. That's, I don't know, 50 pounds or so. Um, I have my air compressor here. Some cleaning stuff. So, there's that. Here is the 
the side. You open up both sides so you can see. So there's more light. There's the interior. Full, full interior. There's no tricks, nothing that I'm taking out. Hell, I even got the floor mats in. And uh, oh man, huge weight right there. Probably two pounds of water. So there it is, the inside. Helmet. My uh, interior, full interior. Um, maybe I can show you. Turn the wheel a little bit. We start it up. Start up the car. Turn the wheel a little bit so you can see that I still have the stock headers in there. Yeah. With the cat. I think you should be able to see it. You can see that USRS under there. Right, the video stopped on me. Um, you can kind of see under here the uh, ABC primary catalytic converter under there. Still the stock header. And then there's the gloss. So uh, there's the little tour of the performance parts on my car. Um, so all of you people out in YouTube land that say he guts his car no way he's winning all those races well it's real um, not really sure what other videos you need to uh, be satisfied I think this is enough but if not then it sucks for you um, next thing I usually do is uh, air down the tires down to uh, 25 26 psi kind of see how that works and go from there then uh, put on my helmet and I'm ready to go. So let's get ready. Okay, so done through tech, showed you my car setup. Um, I'm not lying, I don't have all these mods that some people claim that I have. That's the only way I'm beating these cars. Um, you're looking at the reason why I'm beating those cars. Me, the driver. That's why I beat those cars because I know how to drive this car. I know how to launch it. I know how to time the light, and I know how to try and minimize some of the wheel spin um, with my street tires. So, without that, uh, without without further to do, I'm going to get my helmet on, and we are going to go and race. So I put on, got my do rag on first. So I call it just a thing to keep it a little bit cooler now, and. my helmet some people ask why I wear the full face helmet because here that's what they require um, if you're road racing you you can use the open face helmets but unfortunately here you can't so I just bought one instead of buying two different ones and uh, this is good okay well we are ready Got my seatbelt on. Uh, got everything all set up. Car is ready to go. Tire pressure is down. Uh, that's all I really do to prep for drag racing is air down the tires to about 25 psi. Because uh, if you don't, you know, if you're running at 34, 36, whatever you're running normally on the street, you'll just get wheel hop here. Um, like I said, it's very bad um, prep or little to no prep and grip is not the greatest so you just got to combat it with what you have and uh, I found that this is to be the best way to do it um, put the car in sport mode manual and uh, let her rip hopefully I get uh, some good wins tonight and I'll add to the channel so if you have any more questions or anything for me um, let me know I'll chime in probably throughout the night and you know if I think of anything else that you've been asking or um, want to know or just good information um, I'll get on but from here on I think it'll just be um, more racing videos so 
if you liked this video and uh, like my channel, please like it and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Um, still want to see how how big this um, this channel can get. Uh, gotten a lot of love so far, so I'd love to see it grow, and I'd love for you to be on board and be on the journey with me. So um, that's all for now. Um, talk again soon and hand out some see -yas. And yes, uh, of course, one last thing that I do before I get on this track is uh, adjust my mirrors. As you can see right here, this is my setup for the uh, my iPhone. I use an iPhone 6S. That's what I've used to take all these videos. Um, this adjusts, you know, to the right, to the left, depending on where I line up. And the um, phone just kind of goes in there and uh, get some good video. I have to just adjust the, the mirrors to the camera, not me. So, um, but the view behind me is not the greatest, but that's all right. Um, Cause I just review the video and uh, see everybody that's behind me anyway. Now here I am adjusting the video or my cameras to where the camera's mounted. So can't get it anymore to that side. And then for the other side here, swing it around a little bit, set that up. Test shot, see how that looks. You know. That should be good right there. So, got the mirror set. Swing it back and forth, depending on where, where I'm lined up. And we should be good to go. Here, I'm gonna show you all a little video of what it looks like when you come back down the line here at uh, race legal. So just got done with my race against that 335i that I beat. And uh, I come down the line, not too many people here yet. Um, it's still light, so I thought I'd get a little bit better video. Um, some potholes to miss, not the greatest road, but everybody's cars are lined up here on the left. Um, Usually a couple hundred cars here, and like there's some kids waving. Uh, I'm watching. It's pretty cool just to be this close.
three stage stage lights so we're set it's even and here's my light timing everybody um i'm back now um took off my helmet and everything and pretty much wrapped up for the night here waiting for they have a trophy ceremony um at the end of this every time and it's based on brackets you know um on your modifications on your car what times you run it's like in half second intervals so there's you know uh, anything from six and a half seconds all the way up to 10 seconds in the eighth mile here and um, I've won my class before um, I've, I've actually won two different classes because when I first started I was in the uh, slower class then as I got better um, moved up got better tires mainly where it's I, I think the big um, factor I moved up to the next class and I won that one as well um, there's one trophy that I have yet to get here, and that is the reaction time trophy. To get a perfect reaction time um, at this track, you have to have a .500, which um, I've gotten close, um, I've gotten under, I've gotten over, but I've never hit the perfect 500 on there. Um, tonight, I got my time slip, I did hit a point five one oh so we'll see if that's good enough to get um that reaction time uh win for this this uh this week's edition of race legal um you know there's 10 spots that could possibly beat me out there so um i don't know it's very hard to get that 500 i you know i ran this track i mean i ran the tonight how many times Look at all these slips that I ran. There's probably at least 25 or 30 there. I haven't even counted them. But I, and I, and I haven't gotten a 500. Um, you know, earlier I was telling you that I have ran this track by 350 times or so. Never got it then. You know, when you're measuring thousands of a second, it's um, very much luck and skill that gets you that perfect reaction time. So that's the main goal that I've been trying to work on. Uh, tonight's times weren't that great. Um, could maybe attribute that to, um, I was just running 91 octane tonight. Um, and on other, on other nights, nights when I've gotten like the best times, I've ran an E30 mix um, with E85 and 91 and mixed it um, like a three to one ratio. And I don't know if that helps, I mean, there could be other factors too you know the, the weather it's it is a little hotter it is let's see i don't know what it's 70 degrees right now but it was a little bit warmer today um i got those better times a couple you know maybe two months ago when it was a little bit cooler um so could be that could be that gas i mean it's not like i'm g gaining huge amounts of time because of it so I can't say that that is for sure the reason why, but um, I don't think I'm going to have a time that's going to uh, win my class. Uh, my class is the modified three class here, and that is one of the, I guess, most, uh, that, that class has the most individuals in it because uh, the most of the cars here are running right around that time. And um, that class, I think the super street class, which is... Um, 9.0 class and to win your class here you have to get well you don't have to get you you to for sure win it you have to get the exact time you know whether it be 8.000 8.500 9.000 whatever it could be um they do it based on 
who has the closest to that time. Um, if you go if you go under it, you your slip doesn't count. So like me, I'm in the 8.5 class. Um, I've gotten 8.44s, 8.4, you know, any number like that, they all don't count. Doesn't matter. Um, you went faster than you should have, or went faster than your class, and um, those tickets don't count. So um, they should be wrapping up here soon. It's almost uh, almost time to end, and uh, we'll go to the trophy area, and uh, everybody lines up with their tickets and hopes that they have the quickest one um it's always fun uh to see everybody think they had the uh, fastest one and they don't so i'm hoping i'm not one of those people tonight hopefully i win that'd be cool add to the collection of trophies that i have um from winning here and um but overall pretty good night um no uh no crashes that's good nobody got hurt um they did shut the track down again for an hour and 15 minutes right there at prime time they actually did it eight at 8 30 tonight all the way to 9 45 which you know was a bit annoying but um the car count was low tonight so got a lot of runs in um, as you can see by these this time slip stack i have here and um just aired up my tires i have a little mini air compressor that i keep in my um in my trunk and that's pretty much all I need to do to get ready to go home, uh, put my helmet away, and kind of pack things up, and head on over, see if I won. If I didn't, oh well. Had a lot of fun tonight, got a lot of good kills. Gonna have a lot of video to share in the next couple days, so stay tuned if you liked it. Uh, if you like this, if you like the, the, the viewings, the, the, the review, um, kind of how drag racing works here, leave me a, uh, like and a follow that'd be appreciated and comment if you want to you know want me to cover anything that i didn't in this video so good talking to you all tonight and i'll let you know if i win all right everybody i'm back uh just got done with troll fees and unfortunately i did not win tonight uh like i said my reaction time was a 0 0.510 and the winner got a 0 0.501 so nine one thousandths of a second quicker um the only time that could have beat his was a perfect score of 0 0.500 so uh cheers to that individual not sure who he is or what he was running but um uh, good job and uh, i had a really good time tonight like i said uh, i actually counted these up i think just a quick count unless some of them were stuck together um did uh, 38 runs and uh huff's uh pictures and stuff on my Instagram but mostly wins uh, yellows are losses I can count one two three four five I don't know I need to go through them but um, a quick five losses and 33 wins so pretty good um, showing for the ISF tonight um, I'll have some uh, some videos up here soon and hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like subscribe and we'll talk to you soon all right have a good night